SwiftUI's environment lets us share data in a really beautiful way. Any view can send objects into the environment, then any child view can read those objects back out from the environment at a later date. Even better, if one view changes the object, all other views automatically get updated. It's an incredibly smart way to share data in larger applications. In our app, we have a tab view that contains three prospect views, and we want all three of those to work as different views on the same shared data. This is a great example of where SwiftUI's environment makes sense. We can define a class that stores one prospect, then place an array of those prospects into the environment so all our views can read it if needed. So, start by making a new Swift file called prospect.swift. Replace its foundation import with SwiftUI, then give it this code. Class prospect, conforms to identifiable and codable. Var ID equals a new UID. Var name will be anonymous. Var email address, empty. Var is contacted, is false. Yes, that's a class rather than a struct. This is intentional because it allows us to change objects of that class directly and have it be updated in all other views at the same time. Remember, SwiftUI takes care of propagating that change to our views automatically, so there's no risk of views getting stale. When it comes to sharing that across multiple views, one of the best things about SwiftUI's environment is that it uses the same observable object protocol we've been using with the at observed object property wrapper. This means we can mark properties that should be announced using the at published property wrapper. SwiftUI takes care of most of the work for us. So add this class in prospect.swift. Class prospects conforms to observable object. At published, var people is an array of prospect. In it, self.people equals empty array. We'll come back to that later on, not least to make the initializer do more than just create an empty array, but it's good enough for now. Now we want all our prospect view instances to share a single instance of the prospects class, so they're all pointing to the same data. If we were writing UIKit code here, I'd go into a long explanation about how difficult this is to get right and how careful we have to be to ensure all changes get propagated cleanly. But with SwiftUI, it requires just three steps. First, we have to add a property to content view that creates and stores a single instance of the prospects class. So I'll say var prospects equals prospects. Second, we have to post that property into the SwiftUI environment so all child views can access it. Because tabs are considered children of the tab view they're inside, if we add it to the environment for the tab view, then all our prospects views will get that object. So add this modifier to the tab view and content view. Dot environment object, prospects. And now we want all prospect views to read that object back out of the environment when they're created. This uses a new at environment property wrapper that does the work of finding the object, attaching it to a property, and keeping it up to date over time. So the final step is just adding this property to prospects view. At environment object, var prospects, prospects. That really is all it takes. I don't think there's a way SwiftUI could make this any easier. Now it's important when you use at environment object, you're explicitly telling SwiftUI your object will exist in the environment by the time the view is created. If it isn't present, your app will crash immediately. Be careful, and treat it like an implicitly unwrapped optional. Soon we're gonna be adding code to add prospects by scanning QR codes. But for now we're gonna add a navigation bar item that just adds test data and shows it on screen. Change the body property of prospects view to this. Navigation view, text, people, prospects.people.count. Navigation bar items, trailing, button, Action. Let prospect equals prospect. Prospect.name equals Paul Hudson. Prospect.email address equals Paul at hackingwithswift.com. Self.prospects.people.append prospect. And for the body of the button, we'll do image, system name, QR code.viewfinder, text scan. Now you'll see a scan button on the first three views of our tab view. And tapping it adds a person to all three simultaneously. You'll see the count increment no matter which button you tap.